Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of the Data Carcast. And today I'm not alone, you can see here his little shoulder here. And I'm gonna introduce you to a new friend. This is the first time we're doing this in the Carcast, but before we do that, I wanna point you to at least three key resources. First, my friend Sanjeev Mohan's Forbes piece on what is a data product. We've talked a lot about this here. He's written a great piece on what are data products and how different are they. He does a great job connecting this to the data mesh, so take a look at it. I'm gonna put the link down here for you. Second, you probably don't know this, or you're probably suspecting of this, 22% of your data science time is in preparing data. And so that's a great stat from Mike Nash's latest analysis of Anaconda's report on the state of data science. So again, putting a link down here for you so you can connect with Mike and also take a look at the research. And then finally, as many of my friends here listening to this, I know you're in the startup world and you're probably wondering how much time do I have to raise money and so forth. And so TechCrunch just publishes some great stats. It actually, you have less than three minutes to convince a VC to take a meeting with you. This is a review of 320 pitch decks that TechCrunch has taken a look at. Really interesting stats, hopefully they help you take a look at it. So I probably have less than three minutes myself today to introduce you to my friend and also hopefully learn from him. So my friend is Antoine, Antoine from L'Oreal. So Antoine, you can come in here. Hello, Actually, well. to be official, you have to wear these glasses. I have another pair. If it, the, the, Oh my gosh, you Thank look you. so good. Look at this. So if you don't know Antoine, you're going to meet him here. And of course, he is the data guy at L'Oreal. If you don't know L'Oreal, I can't really help you with that. L'Oreal is a 100-year-old company. It is the world's uncontested beauty leader. Uh, it's a French company, 2 million tables with data from Salesforce, SAP, Microsoft, Google Ads, 100 terabytes in production data in BigQuery, and they process uh, 20 terabytes of data each month, 8,000 governed data sets, 8,500 flows, 5,000 users, so quick question from Antoine. We have never done this. You're the first guest. Hopefully not the last one. Hopefully most people are yes. going to want to come in here. What is the first question? What is the one mistake everyone makes when building a data architecture? Well, what I have seen is uh, people that are too much focusing on building the infrastructure, the, the services, the technical services, I mean, as fast as possible. Because obviously the most important one is, of course, the technical part, but more the Sto the, the fun st part of the story, meaning sponsorship, uh, the communication you made around the data, where you want to go, who you want to involve, is, is are, are there everyone uh, aligned with that strategy? And after that, you should deploy the best infrastructure. But so this before, is the, it's very important. So the call here, of course, worry about yeah. the technology, rush and get the technology, figure out your decision, but never forget the soft stuff around it. Yeah. So. You got to follow these guys because a lot of best practice. I got time for, we've got just over three minutes, so, but I've got one more question for you. Everybody's been talking about data products. I just opened with data products. Is this a buzz? Is this a real thing happening in the industry? What's your take? How should people think about it? Oh, we definitely have seen that uh, it is not a buzz. It is real and it is very important because it changed the the matter, the, the data as is seen and is, is used. I mean... Um, the shared the responsibility model you apply on the data. Who is in charge of that? We have dedicated data product owners that are in charge of promotion of the data, leading the data, the data life cycle, giving access to the data. I mean, they are the father of the data and it's the most important one. So data product is not a buzz, definitely. All right, not. well, you heard it from him and he's got a ton of experience. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank we just well. tried this. We've never done this before. so. If you don't know Antoine, you have to follow him, connect with him online on LinkedIn. Let us know what you think, and we will see you next week. I'll, I'll see you next week, and maybe you'll connect with him this week. Bye. Thank you, and vive la France. Thank you, Bruno. Merci. <laughs> Ciao.